What causes your stream to be glitchy and buffer? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix some of the most common causes of buffering in your live stream. Hello, I'm Steven Ballast. Welcome to my channel where I explore worship technology solutions. As more people are setting up video systems to live stream, I'm sure some of you are running into issues where your stream is glitchy and has to buffer. I'm going to walk you through a few steps you can take to troubleshoot these issues and get things running smoothly. First, and I can't stress this enough, you need to know what the upload speed of your internet connection is. That is the pathway that your video stream is taking to get out to the world, so it's the starting point of knowledge that you need in order to do any troubleshooting. The easiest way to measure your upload speed is on any computer, go to speedtest.net and take a measurement. I'm on a typical cable modem right now, and my upload speed measures just about 5 megabits per second. From that number, we can determine a bit rate that your internet connection will be able to sustain. And the calculation is pretty simple. Your bit rate should be half of your upload speed. But that assumes the internet connection is dedicated to your stream. Any other devices that are consuming bandwidth on your connection will lower your maximum bit rate even more. In the case of this connection, I could stream at a maximum bit rate of 2.5 megabits per second. To set that in OBS, I'd go to Settings, Output, and set the bitrate accordingly, for me, 2500. One thing to understand is the difference between bitrate and resolution. Resolution is just the size of the canvas. Bitrate is how much data you send to fill in the details. So you can stream at 1920 by 1080 resolution and use a low bitrate, but it's not gonna look very good. You've got a big canvas and not very much detail to fill it. Whereas you could use that same bitrate and stream at 640 by 360 resolution and it will look nice and sharp because you've got enough data to fill in the canvas. It's a matter of finding a balance between the bitrate you can stream and what resolution will look good at that bitrate. The next thing to check if your stream is buffering or glitchy is if you're using Wi-Fi. Do not use Wi-Fi for your stream, period. End of story, just don't do it. While Wi-Fi may advertise high bit rates, those are theoretical peak speeds and are not sustained. Also, Wi-Fi bandwidth is shared by the devices connected to the access point so any other devices are interfering with your stream. For streaming, you need a constant sustained throughput of data, so use a hardwired ethernet connection. Those two things, understanding your maximum bitrate and not using Wi-Fi, usually solve 90% of people's streaming issues. If you're still having trouble, check your computer's CPU and RAM usage. I recommend using a computer with an i7 processor and at least 16 gigabytes of RAM for live streaming. If your computer's CPU or RAM are running high and causing your glitches, other than upgrading your computer, a few things you can try are, first, stream at the resolution of the incoming video. Or put another way, if you want to stream at 720 resolution, make sure the video coming into your computer is 720. That way the computer isn't having to scale the video. Second, lower your bitrate. Just like your internet connection has to be able to sustain the throughput of data at the bitrate you set, so does your computer. So lowering the bitrate can help your computer by giving it less data to process. Also, the computer should be dedicated to the stream. Don't try and stream from your Lyrics computer or audio recording computer. Any other task is going to take the computer's attention away from the continuous stream of video data that you're asking it to process. Finally, a free tool I discovered called DPC Latency Checker will test if a Windows computer can handle real-time data streams. Basically what it does is check if any of your hardware devices or drivers are interrupting your computer long enough to cause dropouts. It's a great little tool, I'll put a link to it in the description below. It doesn't necessarily tell you what's wrong, but it does tell you if you have a problem with your computer that could be causing the dropouts in your stream. That should fix most streaming issues that people have. If you're still wondering how to just get your stream up and running, I've got a lot of other videos about setting up a stream, what camera to choose, and how to handle your audio. Be sure and check those out. I hope you'll find them useful, and if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Until next time, bye.